in order to be fully awake or fully present there will be vacillation back and forth between oh I am one I am source here manifesting as a body-mind unit vacillation between that and that can't be true <laughs> how can that be real nobody is that do you recognize that kind of message <laughs> that's the ego the mind the I that are nothing but a conglomeration of thoughts and ideas protesting its imminent demise there's been a lot of work done here to figure out how can a, a clump a glob of thoughts imagine that it's going to die and then fight for its life it, it, it literally is not possible and yet in some strange way and I think the name of <laughs> that way is called identification with thoughts <laughs> attachment to beliefs that's exactly what happens and so vacillation back and forth it often would take the form here of I'm awake I'm asleep I'm awake I'm asleep well you can imagine what that was like that's torturous Finally, finally, a lot of work was done on beliefs, writing down beliefs, tracing them to their source, finding the core beliefs, looking at the core beliefs. Is it true? That's the big question. Is it true? That's the number one question you can ask in your life about anything. Is it true? And if you are 1000% honest and not fearful and holding back of your own answers you will know you can't help but know lots of work then lots of time spent writing down beliefs finding the core beliefs one thing after another there's more to come too this isn't done ultimately ultimately what has finally been recognized is that once you're awake you're awake that's it from that point forward you can either accept it or not being awake waking up is like this it's like living your life in a room that has no windows and no light occasionally a few beams coming in from here and there then the light switch up and the room is flooded that's a pretty intense experience that happened here over and over again in between there was usually a, a lot of joy tons of laughter peace and sometimes mm, angst <laughs> the mind can't accept this it's not understandable by the mind after a lot of going back and forth what was seen was that once the lights turned on in the room it can't go back off I've been living in a room with light wondering if I was in the dark what can be said